it's bigger, it's wider, it's taller, and it is upgraded. Surprise, the Ender 3 Max from, you guessed it, Creality. Getting the latest news and updates right here on Sakuri's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Sakuri and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related, you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest news and updates right in your YouTube alerts. And thanks for being here. The Ender series from Creality, a very strong brand with also a very strong series of 3D printers that are very robust and also easy to handle when you just starting with 3D printing. Well, the most popular one is the Ender 3 and the Ender 3 Pro. Well, and now maybe also because of the Ender 3 version 2, Creality is working very hard, very busy and bringing out very new 3D printers. Only in 2020, they released a dozen of different kind of 3D printers already. And this week I saw the Ender 3 Max. But before I'm going to continue with this video, a little disclaimer. All specs I use in my video and all pictures I shared in this video are from Creality's website and their YouTube videos. Now, that is out of the way, let's get into the Ender 3 Max from Creality. Well, if you thought that the Ender 3 version 2 was the beef up version of the Ender 3 Pro, well, guess again. Because Creality is coming with the Ender 3 Max. But let's take a look at the exterior from the Ender 3 Max. In the basic shape, it still looks like the Ender 3 Pro. The base of the Ender 3 Max looks very similar. Aluminum extrusions of 3030, but a bit wider. On the back side, there is one extra 2040 aluminum extrusion installed, making sure that the base is as sturdy as possible or as strong as possible. And normally, where the Z-axis frame, made out of 2040 aluminum extrusions, is attached or mounted on top of the base frame. Well, for the Ender 3 Max, it's installed on the sides of the legs or on the sides of the base. This frame is going to be screwed with four Allen keys on the sides. In this live stream, I saw that someone was using a piece of carton to check if the Z-axis frame was square to the base. Great MacGyver way, but please use a normal measuring tool to look if it is square or not. This 3D printer has yellow springs already installed instead of the weaker stock springs that were installed on the Ender 3. This Ender 3 Max comes standard with a Cabo Random glass bed to print on. And just like the Ender 3 version 2, this one has also the same kind of clamps to hold the glass bed to the print bed. The display is the same one as the Ender 3 or the Ender 3 Pro. This 3D printer has only one stepper driver for the Z-axis, just like the normal Ender 3 and the Ender 3 Pro. You would expect for this large 3D printer that it comes with two stepper motors for the Z-axis. But no, Creality uses just one. Their reason to keep this 3D printer affordable. I understand this. If you look at the structure, you see that it, this isn't a direct drive 3D printer. And the gantry is running 
over the two sides on the Z axis frame. And the lead screw is attached on the left side and on top of there, there is also one holder making sure that the lead screw will stay in its place. The extruder is made out of aluminum and the plate is much bigger where the extruder is mounted on. There is room for a filament run out sensor. On the carriage, there are two parts cooling fans installed. And the filament holder is on the left side of the 3D printer installed. The holder, by the way, is the same one as the CR6SE. But now let's take a look at the interior and the specs of this and the 3 Max. This 3D printer has a building volume of 300 by 300 by 340 millimeters. So meaning that this Ender 3 Max is 80 millimeters bigger in the X and Y axis and 19 millimeter in the Z axis. The controller board is the same as the Ender 3 version 2. What they said in the live stream, but it's not a silent board. But I thought that the Ender 3 version 2 had a 32-bit board with the TMC2208 stepper drivers. Well, on their website, they say it's an updated mainboard with silent TMC2208 stepper drivers for the Ender 3 version 2. It has a 24 volts mean well power supply unit of 30, 350 watts and on the Ender 3 Max there is Marlin 2.0 installed. I couldn't find any other information about the Ender 3 Max at this moment. Of course in the near future when I have some more updates about this 3D printer I will share it in Zachary's 3D Prints news and updates. And then the price and the release dates. Well, in the live stream, they didn't mention anything about a price. Although they mentioned that they want to keep the printer affordable. So I think the price would be around the 300 US dollars. But hey, that's a guess what I do. And then also the release date. The release date is not known yet. But I expect something like in the end of October, maybe the November month, that this 3D printer is going to be released. So to wrap up this video, Creality is working really hard to bring out all those new 3D printers, but maybe a bit too hard. In the meantime, they are also doing live streams. Some are very useful and some are not so useful. The not so useful ones, in my opinion, are the ones where employees from Creality are doing unboxings and building 3D printers and believe it or not, also doing some reviews on their own printers. I'll put a link from that one in the description so you can see exactly what I mean. There are many content creators on YouTube or other social media that really would like to do reviews on those kind of machines instead of companies doing that by themselves. But the Ender 3 Max. This 3D printer does look great and indeed much has improved. Well, in building volume, yellow springs, metal extruder and glass plate to print on and even room to do a filament run out sensor upgrade. But then, do you need it? Well, depending on the things you want to do on a normal Ender 3 Pro, but where the size is an issue, you can tackle this. With this 3D printer, the prices and the release date are not known yet. But they are going to come any soon. This video is supported by these Patreon supporters, Tony and Shannon. Thank you for your support. You can also join by supporting this channel. Check the link in the description of this video. If you made it this far in this video, you are amazing. Thank you. 
On the end card, there are some recommended videos worth watching. And by the way, there is also a room where you can buy merch from this channel. It will support my channel. Thank you. Please like this video, share this video with other people, and hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Sakuri 3D Prints. Bye bye.